you ever need to tap acrylic, it's quite easy to do. And by tapping, I mean cutting a thread into it. It's quite handy if you're ever going to uh, make any furniture out of uh, acrylic, a, a perspex, a lucite, a plexiglass, whatever you want to call it. So it's quite easy to cut a thread in there so that you can put that screw in there. The, the important thing that you've got to watch out for is drilling the correct size hole for the screw that you're using. And really, what you need to do is consult a, a guide that tells you what size drill bit you need to use for which which thread you're going to be tapping in there. Uh, a common guide that people use is called a Zeus guide. And that'll actually tell you what size hole you need to drill for which thread. And then you just get the uh, the tap that you're going to need to tap that thread size. So here we've got a, an M6 countersunk screw. So I'm just going to show you now how to tap a couple of holes in there and then we can screw this screw into there. This particular set of taps here is used for tapping a hole in, in, a, in a blind piece of material, they call it a blind hole. So those holes go straight through the material so you can use any kind of tap on them. But if you were to drill into the material that way and go say 20 mil deep you'd have to use a, a tap like that which is called a plug tap which has got a flat end and these are normally sold in sets of three and that one's uh, a bit dirty but uh, you, you can actually see that they are these three are different and if you look at that one you can see that's the one that you'd run down the hole first, that's called a starter and then that's the intermediate one and then that one there's the final one so you'd ensure then that your thread went all the way to the end of the hole virtually I'm pretty sure you can get another one as well uh, that goes a bit further than that, that's threaded right to the end so basically that's, that's your tap, you start off with that one because that's got the biggest taper on it and then that one which is the intermediate and then that one but we won't actually be using those because we're not tapping a blind hole. So we're going to be using these. So as you can see again they've come in a set of three. And that's the one you'd use first because it's got the biggest taper on it. But because we're going straight through this material we only need to use that one. Because we can just go straight through with that and that'll put a, a perfectly uh, acceptable thread in the perspex for us. Another thing about taps is they always have the information on the tap and you can see that that's a M6 by one which is what we're going to be using. So we're just going to put that in the tap wrench now and then we're going to tap a hole through the perspex. You can get a few different kinds of uh, tap wrench and they all have a square on the end to grip that square and this particular one is a, a T-bar type so I'll just open that up and push the tap in and then just tighten it whenever you're using a tap wrench and a tap it's, it's important that you get the tap wrench straight what you don't want to do is get it on a slight angle because then your threaded hole is going to be on a slight angle so to start it off just get it straight and then give it a slight turn in a clockwise direction and you'll, you'll feel that the tap is actually starting to bite and then when you've got it started you can then unscrew the tap handle and you can remove the handle and then you can check that your tap is actually square. Now normally you'd use an engineer square for this, but I don't actually have one with me, so I'm just going to use this roofing square. But you can see now that that is virtually straight up using this 90 degree square. So we can now put the handle back on there. and then we can continue tapping and if you do a few turns you will feel it get tight so when it gets tight if you just turn it back a little bit it breaks off the chip that you're creating 
and then you can just continue again and as it's going in that it is actually cutting a thread so you can go quite quickly in perspex and then again do a few revolutions forwards and then half a turn back just to break the chip off and then I'm going to have to just move this over the edge here because we are coming through now and then once you've gone through you can just reverse it So I'll just remove the masking and you can just about see there that that all is actually threaded now. So if we take our screw that we had earlier and we can screw that straight in there. So that's how to tap Perspex.